Hey guys, a friend of mine asked me to work on his generator for him, or I volunteered to. So the first thing I check is the spark plug. <clears throat> and it's obvious he never took the spark plug out to look at it, because do you see all that gunk in between the uh, spark plug, uh, I don't know, fitting? I can't think of the word now. And the uh, center electrode. Um, first thing I looked at is what kind of spark plug it's in. And it looks like Bon. You can't see it, but it's Bon on. It's a Chinese spark plug. So anyway, I pulled it out and I looked at it, and it uh, looks pretty dirty. So I'm gonna get a new one. This is a Harbor Freight uh, Chicago electric generator. It's like 800 watts running, 900 peak. Uh, you got it for $79. I think that's probably what it's worth. Um, looks like a piece of crap. I think at the time he asked me if I thought he should get it. I said, "Yeah, for uh, for seventy nine dollars, it's it's probably worth it." But anyway, look at the uh, look at the spark plug wire here. It's a, a piece of garbage. I've never seen this. Maybe some other people have. See, the uh, wire is cut. There's the center. There's the electrode in there, and then they put this spring on the end. They poke holes in there and poke this spring in there, and that's actually what holds the. Uh, the spark plug on but anyway I'm gonna go get a new spark plug at the store in NGK or something I'm gonna put that in there put it back together and see how it runs he said the symptom was when he hooked up a light bulb it just sit there and cycled and then the light bulb will get dim and bright and dim and bright but I'm gonna change it out and uh, we'll see we'll see what it does okay so while I was at the parts store getting parts for my wife's car I decided to get a new spark plug for it so all they had was auto lights so the, this is an auto light 65 should be a replacement for it for the cheap Chinese spark plug it cost me two bucks so we'll see if that makes any difference at all sorry about the light I was anxious to uh, start this generator and see what it's gonna do but uh, one thing I do like about this little Chicago electric generator is that it has a kind of a cool little measuring cap built right into the uh, there's a fuel cap, so if you need to uh, measure two-stroke oil, you can do that right there. You don't have to look for a for a measuring cup. So it's pretty neat. So we'll see what it does. Okay, and again, sorry for the light. It's night, and I feel like full with this. So what do I have? Uh, the Chicago Electric 800 watt generator is there. I've got plugged into a power strip. I've got my digital voltmeter so I can measure the voltage coming out of the generator. I've got two types of loads. I've got my lamp here, which has a 100 watt bulb in it, and then I have my uh, electric heater, which is a great load to test out generators. I think on low I should get something like 600 watts. So we'll see how that works. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. Um, generator seems to be running great. My friend said it just kept cycling back and forth, but there it is with a 100 watt bulb. And it's staying right around 125 volts, and it's running pretty smoothly. So I'm about to turn on this uh, heater over here, and we'll see how it runs with that. But right now it's running really well. Okay, hopefully you can hear me. I'm about to turn on this uh, electric heater, which will be about 700 watts we're putting on the generator. So watch what happens to the light when I turn it on. Okay, I'm going to let the generator run for a minute. Um, I've got about 700, 700 watts on it. It seems to be running great to me. Uh, I think the problem he was having was just that that spark plug was junk and he never checked it. So I got an Autolite $2 spark plug I put in there. Um, cost me $2. Got some 
good uh, two-stroke oil and some gasoline started up seems to run great so I think that was just the problem it's out there running now on about 700 watts so for the money you paid $79 I think it's well worth it and I wouldn't mind having one myself